And did they say they could see us when we go live? It takes a second. I think until they, that number pops up to where it shows there's people watching. Maybe not. Maybe they all see it. I see zero. We don't know. But hello? Down here. It's not showing anything. Mm, hey, hey, hey. Kind of thinking until that shows. No, I don't know. I don't like the delay. Mm. I know. I think we're going to chill. I mean, I like what they do, but yeah. Hello. Can y'all hear us? Are Marco? we live? Hello? Marco. I'm new here. What do I do? <laughs> hey, everybody's in now. Hello. Hey, there we go. Yeah. Wow. Welcome. Welcome to. White Rock Homestead. Yeah, that's where we're at. I wasn't even wearing the shirt. I didn't know where I was. You, you really needed me. The aliens me. got me. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Welcome Kidding. in, welcome in, welcome in. All these beautiful people coming in, and it's beautiful inside, guys. And the temperature outside is nice until you get in the wind. This wind is crazy. I'm like, we didn't move to Kansas. We moved to Arkansas. I don't want none of that wind. I'm over it. Of course, Charlie thinks he needs to be <laughs> in too. <laughs> he exited stage right. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got and a bubble and he was in it. Love raid from the Gillums. Nice. Yes, y'all should have just came from Johnny and Christine's. Hopefully, if not, start your night an hour early, guys, and go over there and see Gillum Farms, Johnny and Christine. Always a great time. We get to watch most of it. I'm kind of setting things up and. We're normally listening and lurking to what's going on over there. Yeah. And, of course, we have Jenna here tonight. She got a new job, so she has got the night off. Really excited and proud of this accomplishment. So, super awesome for her. There's Mr. Neighbor Bob Teague. How you doing? Yay. We haven't seen them in a while. I know. Uh, we. I did. Okay. Oh, yeah, because he went over and showered when the well went down. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh, um, he must have the comments up on the Steve Walker said you're hiding behind the comments, Jada. Oh if he's got it going on the TV, it's there's probably... Lexi. Hi, sweetheart. We miss you too. When you coming back. Oh. Well, how do we get that? How do we get paid to say Gillum sent me? Hmm. Josh has got the secrets. Well, I thought it was Sherman Family Farms that was like paying everybody in like tickets that they were going to do a giveaway for all the people that said that. Mm. That's that's what I understood. I could be wrong, but it sounds right. <laughs> yes. There's my brother Mike over at Sergeant Talk TV. And yeah. you know it's not me because I'm right here. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, looky there. Well, hello from Denmark. That is so cool. I would love to go to Denmark someday. We're going to do an overseas trip someday. Not really sure. But as we get everybody in here, we just want to appreciate all of you. Uh, we do, do do things slightly different because we don't do roll call. Uh, that way it gives everyone more opportunity to ask questions. So everyone throw up their blue hearts or their pink hands and take a look at who all's here. Say hello to everybody. And just know that we appreciate all of you guys for being here. And if you have comments, questions that you want us to make sure that we see, because sometimes the chat just goes on by, just put in caps, tag us so that uh, it can bring it to our attention. And any mods in here can also help out with that also. So, hello, hello. Well, I tell you what, guys, it's been a week. And I don't know if I'm struggling again with allergies or exhaustion or a combination of both Probably. but yeah it's i apologize i did not get a video out to you guys tuesday i had full intentions yesterday of getting the video out that should have been out tuesday but i was so exhausted oh receipts <laughs> oh, okay nice fall nice uh, um that when i sat down to edit i literally was seeing double and because, you know, we entertained because Benet and Eric had been here for several days and I just hit a brick wall. I went up and I slept for like four hours, got up and then went back to bed and slept all night last night. So I apologize. There's no video that's going to be out, but we'll catch back up on Saturday 
and go from there. So thank you guys for being and for guys, being if you look, so Jesse is doing amazing, hence why he's the mod father, and he's throwing a lot of the information about meetups. We'll try to throw some banner information up there, but there's a lot of meetups. Ten Killer is the first one coming up, um, and then we have the, the Ozark, and then the Arkansas River Valley. So many meetups, so many events that, like, yeah, we're the calendar's booked, y'all. And it is, and that you know, and I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. Like, to sit here and say that everything is hunky dory is you know not really being truthful because i've been feeling a little overwhelmed uh with the schedule and knowing that um you know we're having to go back to tennessee next week and trying to get the garden planted and watching the frost dates and the weather and um you know i i need to be back in tennessee with my family for my dad for a surgery and so jenna is going to be manning the greenhouse so y'all keep an eye on her be checking in and making sure that she's getting everything watered. So yeah, and they're gonna be gone for my birthday. Yes, there's that. <laughs> That's okay. There's that. You're over 21, birthdays are overrated now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it sucks that we're gonna be gone for your birthday, but grandpa's having surgery. Oh, That's okay. So uh, I need to be there. But yeah. So Lynn the Oki's asking, I, I am not a considered as a wounded warrior. I mean, I have my VA rating disability. Um, you know, so there was things that came with that, but I'm not considered, where did this nap come from? It's like, a... um, I'm not considered to be as a wounded warrior, but thank you for asking. Um, we got some pink hand. So Nanny Tam, um, my dad lives outside of Knoxville. So, uh, we will, we were going to try to do a kind of a split visit. So. I could also visit with my Aunt Willa and Uncle Jerry. Um, for those that are new here, my Aunt Willa is really stepped up. She's a lot like my my mom. Uh, I, I look just like her. We act, I mean, we're just, yeah. Uh, you know, when my mom passed, she just kind of stepped into that role. And so we were hoping to spend some time with Aunt Willa and Uncle Jerry, but, um, you know, my dad's paramount. And so not sure if we're gonna be able to swing in a two-parter visit it's all going to depend on my dad's surgery so um definitely uh you got a question so what did the blue hearts mean i don't know other than our color that i chose from the very 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 beginning of when we started white rock homestead is the infamous 1089 ff blue and the blue heart just were really really close to that 1089 ff so you see it a lot in my comments. You see it a lot on our posts. And I don't know. It just seemed like the thing to do. So I like blue hearts. Sasquatch going to attend the 10 killer meetup. And yeah, that means you won't be here. <laughs> You'll, that'll make you happy. <laughs> but, but Amy's, she's going for you, Jenna. She said you got this. She does. She already asked me, you know, uh, she's going to write everything down in a tablet. And she's going to do chores with me. And then over the next couple of days and you answer that one really already. get, yeah, really get a good idea for, um, how to not kill everything. That would be appreciated. <laughs> that would be appreciated. Be good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, oh, there you go. um, Dana Mason. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. It's my baby girl. Uh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's seen Eric, but I, I think she'll do fine. Um, you know, even though she was clearly living at my Northern homestead, you know, she was still really, really little. Although when we started building it, she was nine. I and, don't have memory of it, to be honest. Well, you might not, but, um, she had her own little mud, uh, mud tub and spackle knife and all all the drywall screws up in our home were filled by jenna as far as she could reach and she was she'd jump right in but she didn't do like a lot of the active gardening with me because she was just too little you know she'd go out and pick some things but so i'm hoping that some of the stuff will kind of wear off on her a little bit um 
Um, so Diana, so the daughter lives in Hendersonville, which is northeast of Nashville. I think we'll be, aren't we like, don't we go through Nashville? We go or? through it, but yeah, we're still quite a ways from. Yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh, Moses is feeling good, but he might pop in the chat. Nice. Sorry, you're cool. Well, I mean, not nice that you're feeling bad, Moses, but nice that you would still bop in even while you're feeling Just bad. Just use one eye to read the comments. And... <laughs> yep. So uh, my dad's had uh, a, a battle with uh, type 2 diabetes. So um, he decided to go cold turkey off his meds against his daughter's better judgment or advice. And it played a huge portion uh, in the decline of his kidneys, bladder, and uh, urinary system. So he's got to go in and have some issues taken care of uh, as a result of that. So fortunately, he is back on his diabetic medications. He's doing well uh, with that. Um, so sort of divulging everything, you know, I mean, the, he does appreciate privacy. So, uh, he's, he's hopefully going to manage everything they're going to do just fine. So if you ever wonder where stubbornness comes from, it's definitely from grandpa <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I am definitely, I, my daddy would always say I was the best son he never had. <laughs> but now he's got one. Yeah, there's that. They'll be like, oh, my son, my son. Oh, how's Tara? <laughs> it's like hello i'm right here yeah thank you so much guys hey there daryl how you doing hi daryl um how amazing how the blue hearts match up with the overall yep absolutely she's watching and Jen jennifer ocean Ohm said she went ahead and said it's a blue heart so thank you jennifer. nice thank you very 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 much tim pyle says yeah looking forward hey. to that. we're excited about the meetups guys yeah. being able to you know, we have a lot going on, but honestly, the meetups, like, we're excited. Like, we're trying to get a lot done so that we can, you know, I mean, we're already planned. We're booked. We're scheduled to go to these, and yeah. we're going to go, and it's... I still got to get, and of course, all y'all know, we've been trying to get the YouTube studio up so I can get the merch line running, and I'm still going to try to, like, have merch available, but <laughs> time is going by too fast. There's our other daughter, Gabby. She said from home. And she's from home. She's not working tonight. Oh, Sasquatch looks. Yeah, he does. This is true. This is true. But it's a beautiful setting. So if Sasquatch wanted to live there, I couldn't blame um, him. So Lauren wants to know, mail it or give it at the meetup? Oh, I don't care. Whatever yeah. works better for you. Whatever works better. It makes me no difference. I could probably go at least one of the days. Yeah. James Hall, uh, speak life, not. <laughs> yes. Um, um, okay, yeah, near Clarksville, yeah. Yeah, and we are going to swing up to my, thank you so much, Val. I appreciate that. Um, I've got a really close friend also in Maynardville, so uh, hopefully I'll be able to swing up and see her there too. And then they're planning a trip also out to here. So, yay. Yep. Hi, Jeannie. Oh, so Kelly at the Miami oh, Experience. I had two of my friends. Well, hello, Kelly. Lovely. Thank you for coming in. Oh, yeah. Alexi's mom. Mackenzie wants to Oh, that'd be why Gabby's at home. Oh. Funky I forgot to say well. happy birthday to her, even though she's only two. <laughs> but happy birthday. Yeah, let her know Ann Genesis. Happy birthday. Hey, Brother Dale, Sister Nan. Yeah, they like the green hearts. It kind of goes with their logo, too. Yay. Nice. Absolutely. So, uh, well, it's like, how much do we want to spill? Like, where were... <laughs> so, the greenhouse, y'all, is exploding with green. Um... Is that why they're called a greenhouse? It makes things green? Because they're never, well, yeah. I guess sometimes they're green, right? Your small one's green on the outside, but most of the time it's clear. But that would make sense. Everything inside is green. Yeah. So, and, and that was Learning kind of. Learning folks. Gosh. No, I don't know what to do with those sometimes. Um, 
so after, okay, so Vinay and Eric left yesterday. We had an amazing time. And then they're pretty cool. They are. And they are. And of course, you know, I took all those naps. And then today I was just like, I can't, I just, I just can't, I don't want to do anything today. Like I, I need to be in the greenhouse. And it was so cool. <laughs> it was so cool kind of just getting to just go in the greenhouse, shut my brain off and plant. Because everything needed up potted, but oh. everything's doing <laughs> everything's doing great in the greenhouse. And I promise I'll I'll film. I just didn't today. So I hope I, you'll hope you guys I found it in it. town today, Daryl. It's next to the blinker fluid. Yeah, so for those that might so not have filled up now. So baby, tell us what happened. She because if you're if you haven't watched the coffee chat with the chickens, you're not gonna know this, but it was really hilarious. So share away, baby. Guys, e-bikes need fuel, and I ran out of e-bike fuel about two miles from the house, <laughs> and I found out that I'm not 15 anymore. Because where do we live, guys? We live high on a ridge. And those hills, don't they don't look, I mean, you could see them, and you're like, mm, whatever, in the truck, push the gas a little more, maybe break going down the hill. It's not that bad. I can, they're huge. Because e-bikes are great, but they need the e part, the electric. They need battery. And when they run out of battery, they are not fun to pedal, especially uphill. So then you got to walk them uphill. And I'm not too proud to say that I walked it up a couple hills, and I was pretty winded. And I almost thought maybe I was back in the Marine Corps trying to do a PFT no, no, in no, the no. wintertime. No, no, no. But it wasn't. It could have been worse, though. Right, baby? It could have been worse because... There was enough. There wasn't enough battery charge to propel him on the bike, but there was enough battery power for the bike yeah, to so propel they, itself. They have like a walk mode, right? But it goes like three. I think it was like three or three and a half mile an hour. So typically, you don't think that's not very fast, right? Until you're tired and worn out because you've been, you know, just burned your thighs and legs up, and your lungs are on fire from the cold air. And then three and a half miles an hour trying to walk next to a bike because it had just enough to propel itself. So I didn't have to push it up the hill. At least it was propelling itself. But then I was like power walking. And I was like, I'm not built for this anymore, guys. I'm built for overalls and moving heavy things. Not so. Yeah. They're charging right now, actually. Mm -hmm. it's, yep, I found the e bike fuel and I plugged them in. I'm like, I'm not having this game again. Me we were getting him. We were getting yeah. the propane things filled. And something about them being heavy. And I said, well, that's what I have you for. And he said, when I get old, you're going to have to do it. <laughs> and I said, well, we're not there yet. Yeah, yeah she but... looks at me and she's like, oh, you make that look easy. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, and yeah. she's sitting there and she's on her phone, <laughs> just, you know, leaned hey, up against listen, the truck, working listen. real hard. And she's like, oh, dad, you make that look easy. I'm like, when when you guys are gone. You should practice. Practice makes perfect. When you guys are gone, I lifted them from the ground into the back of my car by myself. She did. And I lifted that one into the camper. She did. That was hard, but I did it. <laughs> she did. You know, there, don't look so excited. <laughs> well, I apologize. What's really funny? Uh oh. It, it was that place was too tough. Well, that's it. Oh. Two out of three daughters are unemployed at the moment. That's okay. No. They'll be hey, fine. I, well, she's already hired technically. I just quit my wait. job because I was going to start somewhere else, and then they this were crappy, crappy, and told me the very last minute that they couldn't hire any new people after she had already given her two week notice they i i gave my notice on a monday so i could have one day off before starting because i worked that sunday and i was supposed to start yesterday and they told me monday at 4 30 when they had known all day that they couldn't put people through the cna class so to hire them um but mom told me to go to this hiring event thingy for a different place last Thursday and I overslept that day so I didn't go to work but I went to that and I got the job there so I start yeah the 22nd like I was I was pretty fired up about it because being in healthcare, you know I, I felt they bore some of that responsibility because she'd been in constant conversation with the with the DON with um I, with I the facility them. yeah they called me Friday and said I needed to come pick up paperwork to get fingerprints done so I texted them at 4.10 on Monday, and my shift ended at 1. 
And I said, hey, look, can I come pick up that paperwork? I'll be there. I can be there in 20 minutes. And she said, yeah, that was fine. She was supposed to leave at 430, but she'd stay until I got there. She just she did tell me that I needed to talk to the DON because I was talking to the HR. But then I got there and then she told me that they couldn't hire anyone. But my friend's cousin uh, was going to start working there, too. And he told me that they told her about it at 1130. So, and she had, she'd worked out her two week notice because that's something I've always taught her is, you know, you you be stand up, you give your two week notice, you work it out, you show up. And she did that. And they waited until after she had fulfilled her two week notice and ended her shift before they were like, oh, gee, yeah, well, we lost our school accreditation for the CNA courses and they, whoever was going to teach it. So sorry. So sad. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And but just, it opened a, a better opportunity, you know. I'm just glad that you went. I'm a better job. Went. Yeah. It did work out. I got a way better paying job, better yeah. schedule. Well, I mean, I'll be on bird shift, but like a set schedule, good benefits. Mm -hmm. So it's it, a, it did work out. It's a prime place in our community that everyone tries to get into. Oh, so boy, I did something. Hold she's on. really, really happy. So yes. Paul wants to know um, the YouTube studio. Yes, uh, we are still working on that. In fact, what was supposed to be Tuesday's video is actually going to be coming out Saturday. Sorry, guys, uh, that we're still prepping for that. And so there are some things on there while we're prepping for that. And it can't happen soon enough. But it's like right now it's Prime Garden. Like That's our food. So we're just having, like I said, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with everything right now, guys. So just we're definitely going it's getting built and hopefully we'll be back on that. We might be able to get maybe one work day in before we leave for Tennessee. Depends on if we get one more day on the mill. She's I don't know. Cute. <laughs> hey, we're going to have to on Saturday pretty, uh... though. What's Saturday? Oh, yes. Yes. So uh, Saturday is uh butcher day for the, the, the rabbits and <laughs> 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 and uh jenna's got a couple friends the ones same ones that helped us uh clear the nugget nest which, only two of them this time yeah. well technically only one because the one doesn't want to kill bunnies but <laughs> yeah eric's making us a special gift but... nice thank you eric um he's got something secret going for a giveaway oh but um but yeah so saturday we're gonna be um calling the the teenager bunnies, as well as the two roosters that are just wreaking havoc in the chicken yard. Because if I'm going to be, I'm just going to skin them. I ain't going to bother plucking them or anything because we don't have the plucker. That's what Delta K has. Delta K provides the plucker. So I'm just going to go ahead and skin them and then I'll just can them. And so while I'm canning them, the rabbit, I'll just go ahead and can the chicken. And that should take care of that. So There's Steve back with me. Hey there, Steve. Um... Oh, yes. Yeah, it's we we definitely have settled into a rhythm. Uh, and that was something that we were talking with Benny and Eric about um, oh, because he I was they have blinker fluid there. <laughs> uh, muscle things. Um, you know, because they did a coffee chat with us and the, a couple of comments were like, you know, they look a little uncomfortable. And 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 yeah, we we definitely recognize the fact that, you know, we're we've been doing this now for a, over a year. And so it is a little bit more comfortable for us. And, and we didn't know what we were doing in the beginning. No one does. And so you just do the best you can. And and uh, that means we know what we're doing now. OK, no. yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh can, I, can I say something? Yeah. Um, I don't have to worry about um, Sasquatch coming into my camper at night anymore. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I got locked in the fifth wheel because um, the lock was broken. <laughs> um, well, I don't even, oh, I think we were, we were going fishing. I was going fishing with my friends that day, and I went to the fifth wheel. I moved Callie in there, and I closed the door so she wouldn't run out, and I tried to get out, and it wouldn't open. So I had to, like, climb through the bay, and I had to climb back in and then climb back out. Because we have a laundry chute in yeah. the bay. <laughs> so um, Dad figured out that a piece just, like, came loose. And he put it back together. So now the lock actually works. And I she's voluntarily get locked in. Yeah. That was funny, though, because she's just like, I'm stuck in here. 
Yeah, she was totally back, stuck. Back to talking about Jenna's job thing because I'm a little behind on comments. But okay. Wade says he's been there, done yeah. that even. So Gabby says teacher, yeah. that uh, she's finding a work from home since Sam's working full time. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So if anyone has some work from home uh, real jobs, shoot me an email so I can send them to our daughter, Gabby, for sure. Dale says it right yeah. there. Yeah. God's got you. That's right. And, you know, that was something that um, she she was defeated. She really was because she, she, you know, she did the honorable thing. She did her two week notice, worked it out. She'd been in constant contact, and then they're just like, "Yeah, so sorry, you know." Da, 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 da. And she was defeated, and I, she cried a lot. I could see it in her eyes she, when she was crying, and and that's just kind of a hard. That's really hard when you 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 put your eggs in that basket. And I had to remind her, you know, God's got something bigger for you, yeah. and something better is going to come along. And that's what that's what my I guess now old coworker was talking about. We've both been looking for other jobs. Um, she hopefully is going to get this one. I told her I've been praying for her that she gets this one. Um, but that was something that we talked about and that everything God has planned, everything works out the way it's supposed to. Um, you want to say what type of job? Yeah, I know. I know. Um, it's a factory. It's at a factory. Um, I'm technically like my job title is assembler. So it's not like a hard job. Um, but it's a foot in the door to a company that's really hard to get into. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, maybe if I stay there for a while, I mean, I hope I stay there for a while. Um, I think it'd be cool to eventually become a machine operator. I used to do that for a little bit in Ohio and that was really fun. Uh -huh. I got the same year from you. Oh, oh. well, thank you, Lynn. Okay. Well, thanks to your cousin for their uh -huh. service. And Well, one thing too, is they have amazing tuition reimbursement mm -hmm. benefits. As long as you pass your classes, they reimburse you 80%. Oh. Uh -huh. We might yeah. have to make that happen for you, Daryl. Oh, we can do that. I don't know how to preserve it so it wouldn't get all far. <laughs> you know, I'm sure there's the a Google way to do machine it. knows. Yep. I like yeah. it that way. I'd rather resemble her. <laughs> She's my little mini me. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. So it's, it, it did, it worked out because they called the day, you know, and it was funny. Cause like when Benet was here, she's like, is she okay? And, and I'm like, yeah, she's, she's watched me go through different trials in, in my life. And I will give myself one day to sit there and ball my head off, whine and cry like a baby. And then I have to get up the next day, pull up my big girl panties, cover big booty Judy. And it's time to get down to business. And but giving yourself that um, permission, mm -hmm. I guess to to really just process it and 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 mourn, you know, and and feel sorry for yourself. Have, give yourself a pity party. It's fine. Do it as long as you know the next day you got to get up and you got to get stuff done. And yeah, sure enough, the next morning she I put in call. honestly like after I got home yesterday, I put in so many applications and. I wasn't expecting anything because they called me at like six, six ten. I think is when they called me, and um, so it was. I wasn't expecting to get a call about a job at six ten in the evening, but yeah, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, See, that's my idea. See, it'll work out. It'll work out. I mean, not me. We're not working out. I'm with Kelly. We're not doing a workout, yeah. but you know, life like, will work out. And I, I mean, I know Jenna doesn't like, but. I told her we're not going to let her fail. You know, she has bills. She didn't come down debt free, so she has bills. But I was like, you know, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I know, I know. But um, we wouldn't let her fail. And she was just like, I know, but I won't ask you. I don't want to ask you for that. So yeah, I had two of my friends <laughs> even said that if you need financial help, to I'll help. And I was like, no. I'll figure it out. Tara's still got the Victorian panties, big girl panties, <laughs> the pantaloons. I'm going to have to make me a pair of pantaloons. Oh, look, we're getting oh. all of the Jonesy channels. Oh, nice. Australian also, video. the other day when I was still working at Walmart, um, I was putting groceries Thanks, Steve. into someone's car and they had um, their license plate had the Marine thing on it. Oh, yeah. And so I asked him because it was a guy and they, he had kids and everything. And I asked if he was a Marine and he said, yeah, I used to be. And I wanted to tell him, like, no, you still are. Yeah. But I just didn't. I just said, thank you for your service. And then went about my job. But. Yeah. Awesome. 
That is cool. Oh, what Daryl do now? He did that. He did that. Oh, so thank you. Let's welcome, courtesy of Daryl, Mike Birch, our daughter Gabby, and Gabby, and Canadian Family Life, mm -hmm. Nine Acre Family Farms, Wanda Henry, Wow, Nikki Jackson, welcome, Roy Hoffheim, nice, yep, Tana Lineball, Lineball. I, that's familiar do i know you and that sounds so cindy familiar. ellis cindy ellis and thomas for Bert, nice. Bert, 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 yeah and <laughs> mr and mrs walter job and canadian family nice. no oh no did i go too far yes oh, oh sorry so thank you so much daryl for doing that we greatly appreciate it and if i i mean I, it doesn't tell me what level but if it's night or above Send me an email to whiterockhomestead at gmail.com or whiterockhomestead at yahoo.com. I know last week I got one email, but I haven't had a chance to give you your certificate yet. But email me your email address so that I can send you your official White Rock Royalty Certificate of Knighthood. So they're really cool and they're fun and I enjoy doing them. So uh, for those that did that, or receive the gifted memberships, please reach out, send me your email. There you go, Jenna. That's right. Always Yep. Yep. Technically, There's I took like two days. Sister Ginger, brother Joey. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, but I, you can't really count the first day because that happened like way late, you know, in the day. Hello, D. Yes. Man, I wish we could always we can see it on the youtube so yeah the chicken 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 what's this you can try things i do which helps i have five websites that were made from just direct people there and make a question oh please i've read. heard of people doing that but yeah. i never know if it actually worked or not yeah i i have too so if you don't mind sending me an email and kind of give me some deets for that especially if you get like referrals i can forward that on to um to our daughter gabby for sure Hello, hello. Welcome, all you beautiful people. Do you see my name? Laura D. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Laura D. You. That's perfect timing, baby. I timed it. You got the little thing I know. There. So, uh, Jason and Jenna, when they went to town today, uh, stopped at the P.O. Box. And I had a special gift from Laura. Is this not the coolest thing ever? It even came in pink wrapping paper. It did. Pink glitter wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. And it is just so amazing. And it's just so fragile, but it makes the cutest little tink, tink, tink sounds. So, and it's from Laura Dietrich. And I am so grateful and thankful for this. And no, I will not put it in the windy conditions outside. So this is staying in a safe place because... These shells, she says, to ensure long life for this delicate hand-strung knotted wind chime, please keep out of high winds and severe weather. Created with shells found on the Gulf shores of Texas. And that's cool. Because Texas is close to my heart. We have family there. And we love Corpus Christi. We spent a lot of time there in the past. And we hope to get back again soon. So, Laura, thank you so much for that. I I absolutely love it. I It was such a surprise. And it's just so awesome getting gifts. Not that we expect it at all, but it's it's just so awesome to be able to. Well, and I think that's the ones that you know, like mm -hmm. I don't know. I just we I was in town, and I'm like, hey, we're not expecting anything, but we have the PO box just in case. Like, let's check it every once in a mm -hmm. while. You know, we're not great at checking it, but I was really close to the post office, so yeah. we had popped in, and you know, most times there's not anything there, which is fine, but. You know, we do get the random packages every once in a while that it's like, yeah. hey, let's stop in and just, yeah, that thing's awesome. And yeah, it'll have to be hung in the house. We're not putting that outside. No, I have a key for it, too, for when they're gone. And, um, they're mm -hmm. anything. and that's that's perfect, James. All like that's it was stressed out yeah. last week because I hadn't received a check a week later. I still hadn't and was looking at losing everything. God said to have faith and wait. Got a check later that day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So God has a plan yeah. for all of us, guys. We don't know what it is. And honestly, it would make life boring if we knew what the plan was ahead of time, right? Yeah. You just got to live it and keep going. But he always has a plan. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. And 
Daryl and Jackie over there, you guys are amazing. They are. Rock. They're such good friends. Uh oh. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh -oh. So she says, Lauren says, you don't need to worry about Squatch anymore. The blue man has been spotted again out your way. Now he makes Squatch look like a butt. I don't know anything about blue man. Do I need to Google blue man? Yeah, mm -hmm. Google blue man. What's blue man? Y'all, uh, I don't need something else to worry about when I'm sitting out on my yeah, deck at night. Jonesy's here in the, so backwards. So guys, the important thing uh, with Steve at Backwoods Misfit, he's, I mean, he's an awesome guy and a great friend, but he's mm -hmm. hosting one of the meetups that we're going to. Mm -hmm. So, as a matter of fact, hold on, let me find. I know there's another one before that, but right here, Steve, along with Simply Jan Homestead, are the hosts for the annual. This and I should have put second annual Ozark. It is the second um, annual, but it's at the Palm. So, Palm de Terre. Yeah. Oh, fancy words, people. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and and we are getting ready to head in. So. Like when we go to Tennessee for my dad's surgery, we're only going to be able to come home for like two or three days before we have to head back out for the 10 killer meetup. And depending on how his surgery and stuff goes, we're hoping to be able to come home, but we don't know. We may have to go straight from Tennessee to Oklahoma. Uh, it, we're leaving it open. Because we're we're just you know I need to be there for my family so yeah so Blue Man is Good like man. an Ozark legend oh oh um once upon a time a wild man like creature roamed the remote wooded hills around Douglas County I don't know where that is he was infrequent infrequently seen but his presence felt as far back as the 19 or 1860s looking to chase and kill he carried a wooden club in his ha huge hand threw large boulders and feasted upon livestock periodic appearances sent locals spinning into a tizzy and brave men searching the woods and enough excitement to last until the next sighting he was the blue man of Spring Creek huh and, and, and where was he spotted? Because I've never heard of this blue man, but he doesn't sound like Squatch. Where, I don't know where Douglas County is. He doesn't sound like Squatch. So, you know what? I'll go. I'll go head to head with blue man. I'll take him out. Uh-huh. Y'all wait. I'm going to be on the, I'm going to be on the, like, the big titles <laughs> of the Inquirer because I'm really going to get pictures of Sasquatch. Thank you. <clears throat> you wait. You're not helping. <clears throat> I will. Uh, let me, I'll figure out where that counts. So when you're not chasing down Sasquatch and some random undisclosed, not known, what did I say? Doesn't Douglas? Exist location, Douglas? come to Lake Ten Killer, April 26th, 28th, <sighs> for a YouTuber meetup, right? But and it's not just Sasquatch. for YouTubers. It's not. It's for everybody. And we want all 163 of you to come. Yeah. Because we're going to be there and we want to hang out with all of you. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of these beautiful, amazing people in here that's going to be there, but that's the one that kicks it off, y'all, at least for us. Did that's you know we're one. right next to Fulton County? Yeah. That's so cool. We used to live in Fulton County. I know. <laughs> oh, nice. So she said he's look. Blue Man's looking for his mate. Sorry, I'm already taken. I I'm not to... looking. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not for okay. Blue Man. So let me hide that one. Oh, but yeah. why Blue? Is he it, Douglas blue? County is in Missouri. Because he's sad. Oh, so it's Missouri. It's right there. But that's literally so like a a right few above counties above us. Gainesville. Hmm. Uh, okay. Will you chill out, dude? Although, so when oh. we we go up over into Missouri quite often because we're really close, and we went out to eat the other night, and we stopped at a, the store up there to grab some wine and stuff and beer, and the lady that works there was telling Jason that she lives really close by here and a bear got into her chicken run and took out what she said 20 some plus of her yeah chickens. something like that yeah and now we've not seen any bear like on our property but where she lives is extremely close to us so Bob if you're still in chat let us know if you've heard that here recently because there is supposed to be a bear on on the rich so let us know i knew there was another comment so josh has got it right everyone walk around stuck up if we knew it got a plan for us we wouldn't have faith if we knew the plan exactly okay. yep but yeah i knew i had this queued up so what is the plan for mexican viking jenna day at 10 killer <laughs> she has to go well they call moses the mexican viking 
Oh, I, I figured. Because <laughs> he had cut his hair and he could be able to put it back, but then his beard, he looks like from he's on the show. The bike. I liked that show, so not opposed. So she's going to, it depends with her, her new job. I um, probably, I could probably come Friday and then have to come home Saturday. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. We'll see uh, how that goes for her. Cause... And then Jake will oh. just have to take care of everything. Family, yeah. families. <laughs> see, we love Corpus Christi. Well, okay, let me rephrase that. We love the Naval Air Station at Corpus Christi. Well, but we had fun because we went on we the did. big ship and the aircraft carrier that's that there that's so a museum cool. and mm -hmm. it was actually the one that they used in the original top gun so they've got a whole lot of stuff uh reference to that yeah um, and they actually Pod have the plane there too and it's got goose and maverick on the windows yeah. and i was just like yo goose you big stud but, but what's the can... words what's the words uh-uh uh-uh I can't say it on the live. It might be inappropriate, <laughs> but you know where I'm going with that. If you know it, go ahead and type it in the comments. Yo, goose, you big stud. I know word for word that. Oh, yeah. That's right up there with Dirty Dancing. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So. Oh, I haven't had enough crayons hmm. yet. No. I don't even want Never. to pronounce to use fancy words. Never. There's boss. Hey there, Kevin. How you doing, boss man? Go lay down. No, go lay down. Yeah, mine's feeling so needy. Yeah. Um, the okay. triggers, yeah, Eric, for sure. I, so. I, <laughs> it's so Jason is the boo man. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I would put him up against any blue man or squatch. I mean, he's my uh -oh, my big can... lumber snack. He uh -oh. protects me uh. from the pay from the phone call. I'm I'm lost. The I'm... blue man. So Lauren is sending about the blue man because on Joel and Lauren's live last Friday oh. there might have been some extra oh, oh. all those extra little fun things we did. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So Bob says it's about 50 miles north of us in Missouri. Okay. So, yeah. So, how did your dad wind up in Tennessee? That's, well, we're getting ready to go. So, this week he's doing all of his pre op stuff. No, I think. No. I how think did that end up living in Tennessee? in Tennessee? Oh, gotcha. <laughs> it's not hair dye. Neither one. Nobody buys hair dye. It's <laughs> natural. It is. Um, so. <laughs> The two buns. <laughs> I love you, Petra. Um, that's, I don't know, honestly. So when my dad's dad passed away, my dad was 12 at the time that my uh, grandpa Rocky passed away. And when my grandma Rocky remarried, she married a, a, a guy who was kind of like a traveling electrician. And so he would travel and they traveled everywhere between California to all just all over. And as my aunts were graduating and aging out, they kind of would settle wherever they would stay the longest. And so it just happened to be Tennessee was a place that um multiple uh, i have a lot of aunts <laughs> my dad was the only son and uh well no there's a stepson but yeah and um long story long story oh half half son but i no, don't have brother but anyway so then my dad had worked his way back up to indiana uh for a few years when he met my mom and then Long story short, when I graduated high school, he moved back down south. And of course, all my aunts were already down here because they had always been here. And uh, my grandmama was also down here. And so um, I don't know. I just I grew up being down here. I remember going to Pigeon Forge when it was all uh, go-kart tracks and uh, water slides. 
before it was a huge tourist trap. I remember going to Gatlinburg when it was still the original, actual, real Ripley's, believe it or not. Uh, and it was mostly kind of a German thing because you had Ober, Ober Gatlinburg, you had all the really original kind of German things. One of the <laughs> eggs behind you is trying to hatch. <laughs> there are a lot of eggs. And yeah, so yeah, Sherry Fillmore. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, but I, I don't have a huge long history as far as like generations and generations and generations uh, in Tennessee. But yeah, that's, that's how kind of how it all happened. And we really thought Tennessee was a viable option for us. Um, it would have made it smarter, but East Tennessee kind of got swarmed, kind of got swarmed and they hit the market cha-ching way sooner than Arkansas did. So by the time we were ready to buy it was kind of out of our budget for what we wanted. I spent most of my life thinking that they came from Tennessee because great grandma was there, grandpa mm -hmm. was there, at least two aunts were down there. I just I thought it was normal. It wasn't yeah. until great grandma's funeral. Maybe their first time to see. Yeah. Well, how does that work? So what? first time to see the ocean. There's, there's, I guess it technically is the ocean, but it's the Gulf of Mexico. It's still the ocean. It's salt water. It's a it? lot warmer than being at the straight ocean. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's, but, and if you guys didn't know, um, you can look at like North Padre Island. They have, yeah. um, you can go out on the beach, drive onto the beach. If you have a four by four. Well, the first, the first several, like 16 miles, whatever, you don't need four wheel drive. You can, no, you don't, don't listen to her. You don't need four wheel drive to get to the first 16. They have huge Class A motor homes, and you can actually camp on the beach. Free for 14 at, days. For free. So, yeah. Might be something to look into. It is so Bahama cool. Mama just tried to get um, my nose. Yeah. How you like it, my Bahama Mama? And there's. I'm bad. Yeah. Jo Jonesy announced, like, he's so going on. So, they are going on the elastic. Yeah. Oh, we have gone back and forth and back and forth about the Alaskan cruise, y'all. We still aren't sure. <laughs> we still aren't sure. That would be so cool, though. But if you're going to be in the States, hmm, Jonesy, yep. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, first time. That will be exciting. I mean, Corpus Christi, is, it, it's huge. It's more city, but then we found things to be able to do to that where we were. So and then we stayed on the military base, which, you know, was a benefit for us. But yeah, we met. And there, we, you can see dolphins in the gulf because we we mm -hmm. like we're standing in our camp area and could see the dolphins yeah hi cat hello hello oh i love the family stories yeah yep we have tons yes we one do one <laughs> horn blue eye what is that one eyed one horde five purple people leader yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah um what jenna was talking about with not knowing that a lot of the family came from the Indiana area is we have our own family plot. And it was actually a plot that the Campbells and the Rockies kind of have together and it's huge. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was so. okay. It was kind of funny. The guy I was dating at the time, um, his last name was on some of the tombstones that were in like our family cemetery. Yeah, that was a mess. That's funny. There's but, Joey. Hi, Joe. And he's got green crayons. How nice. did you get green ones? I don't know. How did you do that? How did you wind up in Ohio? So I wound up oh, in Ohio nice. because um, my sperm donor. I met their father, all three of the kids' his dad, and um, he was originally from Ohio. Mom and, is from Indiana. She grew up in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, about an hour from Pigeon Forge. Oh, you got to be really close to, yeah. That we're we're about thirty five to forty five minutes away from Pigeon Forge. Um, yeah. So I met their dad, That's and he dad. was originally from Ohio. And because I had moved around so much 
when I was young, I really felt it important to give the kids roots. Hold on. We got to say hi to Jan. She, hi, Jan. She gets a little moody sometimes. <laughs> if, if you see Jan in any of the lives, guys, make sure, real big letters, say hi to Jan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love you, Jan. Yep. Um, and uh, I just felt it was really important to, I wanted my kids to start school and end school uh, at the same place. And so, uh, even after their dad and I divorced, I, I didn't like move directly out of that community because I had built a life for myself there as well as the important thing of keeping my kids in the same school from beginning to end. And it wasn't until Jenna graduated that. No, my senior year. Yeah. Her senior year, but it was, a, it was the COV year where we moved 40. Yeah about 40, 40, 45 minutes from our hometown um, to another town that I, I went to, um, what? They were messing me. There's no way um, to move and stop it. I went to um, like our a career center um, and that was about 45 minutes away. So we actually moved to the town that that was in. Mm -hmm. So instead of driving 45 minutes to work or to school and then to work every day, I just drove like five minutes down the road. Well, that, and at the time she was going to be going to my alma mater for nursing school. That was the plan. That was the plan. That was, it was right next to, Ooh, yep. there is. that See? school was right next to, I'm sorry, um, right next to my career center. The college was next yeah. to the career center. But then um, they, y'all know what happened 2020. And then a lot of the requirements for nursing, um, <laughs> made her withdraw if you get my drift because we don't like the jab you didn't um, see that amy <laughs> yeah and she 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 chose that she did not want to get that therefore she could not go into nursing i've decided time. through the years because i was debating what i wanted to do i want to do radiology because mm -hmm. uh, it's still healthcare, but i've also been able to see it from having to get x-rays um everybody's busy we people. know we're glad yeah. you made it um, here, though. Well, you should talk to Jess from Back Road Homestead. Like, she's, she uses radiology. Nice. I will. Mm -hmm. Um, Whoever said that their name is Dale, I didn't see what it was. You have the same name as my childhood babysitter's husband. It's yes. Dale. Oh, Dale from the Nine Acre Family Farm. Oh, that's yeah. what I always think of. I was really fortunate when the kids were little that when I did work, um, I had an amazing grandma type woman for my babysitter and dale and diana are still very fond for us and our three kids they had my kids all through growing up they're like family and the first i knew she was the one for me when on our interview when jenna was still a you know just kind of in a car seat when she's like if i think your kids need a butt whooping i'm gonna <laughs> give them a butt whooping and i'm like girlfriend you are my kind of gal you're hired <laughs> they actually um, stopped babysitting um, at one point. I don't remember when, but then like my accident happened and I was only going to school. When I first started going back to school, I was only going for a half day, but mom was working. So they would pick me up from school and they would just kind of like let me hang out with them until mom got off work. Yeah. When she had her accident. And so like, yeah, they did. They, they, they've stepped up for the kids all their I lives. So. I know we need to, I stay in touch, but we we do go back. What was that one holiday we went back and we all all the kids went? Um, they're just great people. I don't remember. What what's JB's? JB's JB's what? You guys were talking about something. I wasn't listening. I don't know. So I thought maybe. So what's with the egg? Oh, Is no, there no, no, no. an egg movie? That was... Or are we haunted? Are we are we getting an egg? Or is they there? Were, it was when we were talking about. <laughs> 2020 you said we didn't want those jobs oh the jabs oh j oh, we didn't want the jabs did not want not the jvs yeah we didn't we didn't want the j i got a religious exemption um and then she i just never got one because she i don't think yeah. it would work good um i already have enough issues look i have permission he said shut up both of you who from zach <laughs> I have permission. <laughs> what is what did he say about it? He just said it's okay to tell him to shut up. Oh <laughs> <laughs> our son. <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you, James Hall, for a reminder <laughs> you of, that Zach sent me if you guys haven't yeah. already, we'd appreciate it. You know, hit that thumbs up. Give us 
and maybe you don't like it. Maybe we're getting a thumbs down. That'll be yeah. okay. Go back up. Oh, go back up. I'm started to read. Yeah. What is right? What does Wade say? Uh, you know that this is the last thing over the last few years. You know, we need more doctors. Yeah. And, you know, we went from being heroes to being prosecuted, yeah. uh, you know, you. criminally prosecuted. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a whole thing. They also do not get paid nearly mm. enough. No. And are way overworked uh, and still don't even really get paid good enough. Mm. Yeah. But that's something, oh. that's a discussion that no one wants to have. Mama Carolyn. Hi, Mama Carolyn. They had the funeral for her dad. Oh, I am uh, so sorry. And I continue to pray for you every day since you lost your dad. Yes. And we we appreciate you and mm. our thoughts and prayers are with your family. Um, we talked about it on Sergeant's Talk TV. Mm. Um, but absolutely. We... Yep. So everybody send some hugs and love to Mama Carolyn. She's a huge supporter of us and our community. And she could use a little love right now. So make sure you send her out some love. Oh, that's where she's going. Yeah, she got a doctor. Note. All right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, well, if Zach's listening, why isn't Zach saying hi? Because he doesn't want to do all that. He, he well, got I'm good. surprised Holly hasn't snapped me yet. Yeah. So. <laughs> Um, what do we got over here? So oh, five minute warning already. Yeah. So we're on that. So guys, we're going to run through this a little quick, right? Because we missed it because we get jib jabbing, right? First meetup, April 26, 28, like yeah. 10 killers. Big 10 killers. Be there, be square. And then when you're done with that and you'll get a couple weeks rest, boom, you're going to go up to Missouri to the bomb. Palm de Terre State Park. Terre. Right? Palm de Terre. You just fancy it up. Hot walk, but <laughs> so here's how you want to, if you can want to go to that one. If you can't make the 10 killer, maybe you can go to the one in Missouri. Um, and then a week after that one is the Arkansas River Valley at Blue Mountain Lake. And guys, they're at Waveland Park. If you want, um, and I hadn't seen him in here tonight, but I know he's been kind of busy is go over to randall at gypsy trails he's been doing some videos of walking around that campground where this meetup mm -hmm. is going to be and it gives you a great view especially this time of year of what's going on um and then all right shameless plug yeah i was gonna right. i was gonna do that one too so across the bottom on the coffee chat it's if, if, though, if you don't know that is our side channel and actually we're loving it it's, it's almost like a therapeutic thing for us to do the coffee chat with the chickens because we do sit down every morning and we talk about our day and we talk about, you know, what we're grateful for, what we're thankful for, what we need to do, what we can work on. And all we do is start the camera and y'all kind of get to be in on that with whatever our brains decide to go to. And so if you haven't checked us out on coffee chat with the chickens, go ahead and pop us over. Uh, I don't know if one of the mods are still in here they can drop that link. If, if the talkie talkie is not for you, we still love you anyway. It is fine. Totally fine. But definitely check us out if you want that whole talk. Thank you, talk. Judy Herman, because I didn't see any eggs moving. Everyone else did. <laughs> said it's not. It was a strand of your hair. And as it moves in front of the egg a certain way, it didn't look like. The thing oh. is, those are brand new, fresh eggs. I literally just put them in there. So I know I don't need to candle them. Oh, a little more. They are totally yeah, fresh totally from fine. yesterday to today. Oh my goodness. Oh, we Troy. started a scholarship in a high school. That is so cool. That's awesome. Good for you. That is so cool. Um, that we love Tennessee. It, it it's it's in my heart. It is. So uh um, yeah. Um do I talk a lot? No, it's mostly grunts. Mostly I think we guys. all do. We all grunt. Um, I get up early yes. enough. So out of my right system. here, let me make sure I covered everything on the banner. Um, I didn't right here. All right. Um, oh yeah. Take that one off. So yeah, every Monday night we do digging in the word with four sisters. I did not join in on this last week because we had guests here at the Ridge. So the three ladies from Nana Nine Acre Family Farms, uh, Ginger at Not for Nothing, and Christine from uh, uh, Miss Christine Miss okay. Gillum Farms. She, uh, they handled it, and so, but we picked that up every Monday night, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Guys, 
the whole lineup real quick because I know we've only got a few seconds. Gillen Farm started before us. Then we're on for an hour. Right after us goes a not for nothing homestead, which is where you're going to go right now. And then after that, you're going to go to Nine Acre Family Farms and have a great night. So not for nothing homestead. You should already have it queued up Tell and get over there. To... Throw them a bunch of blue hearts so they know the presence of the White Rock Nation. Yeah. So it's time. It's seven. Get over there. Go on now. Get on out of here. Go. Get. Get.